guys and gals and non-binary pals, welcome to another episode of Power Slam, presented by Power Overdrive Wrestling. Today we come to you from Sydney, Australia. My name is Eric Powers. Today we have quite the lineup for you in wrestling matches. First up, we've got a tornado tag match coming at you. Uh, the Hardcore Queen and Empress Tatsumaki teaming up today against Poison Jack and the returning Sinister Fox. Getting back in the ring, knocking off some of that ring rust. It's going back to developmental, coming back, trying to make a name for herself once again. and Erica Draven last week had a knockdown drag out match fantastically uh, put together between the two of them I decided to uh, strap those boots up together this week work together see what they can do against uh, against Sinister Fox returning and joining up with Poison Jack Boys and Jack, no one new to uh, to tag team wrestling. Some of her very first matches uh, here uh, were in multi-woman uh, matches, occasionally teaming up with, with various members of the roster. Not her first rodeo getting in there, trying to 
work as a team. Of course, uh, this is a tornado tag team match today, so there is no tagging in. Not a lot of teamwork necessarily has to be done. Just a bit of uh, coordination, uh, generally. is happening that you've got your person taken care of keeping them from getting in to break up that pin etc keeping an eye on your partner making sure that you can break up pins if they start to get pinned that sort of thing working together uh knocking somebody out of the ring working on a double team move trapezius muscle. Fox there getting out of a submission hold being applied by Draven into the monkey flip. Tatsumaki and Jack on the outside. Tatsumaki getting the upper hand for a second, then a world's strongest slam into that galvanized steel. Corkscrew takedown from Draven. Oh, reverses the Irish whip. Oh, and a beautiful cutter there. From Fox, off of the ropes, Draven kicks out at one. Going to the top rope, looking for a super flex off the top, into the middle, and a roll up into another Falcon Arrow style slam there. Seems Sinister Fox has learned some new moves, got some new weapons in the arsenal. Since the last we saw her in the ring. Her and Draven taking their time, meeting each other on the outside. Draven. Slamming Fox's head right into the apron. Tatsumaki now bringing Poison Jack in. Stomping in the corner, looking for the katana. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, and friends from beyond the binary. The cover, one, broken up by Fox. Draven not able to stop Fox. Side slam there. Fox now working on the arm of Tatsumaki. Tatsumaki now working over Fox. Erica 
Draven unable to, uh, to, to handle uh, the power of Poison Jack at the moment. Getting the upper hand. Jack throwing Erica to the outside. Sprawling her out. Fox on the inside, missing a crossbody. Tatsumaki taking advantage of this. Beautiful tilt a world slam there from Tatsumaki. Not quite yet going for that cover. Another. And going for the arm. Oh, Erica Draven look for that tombstone pile driver. Tatsumaki. Into the inverted chin lock there, but broken up. <laughs> By Poison Jack. Poison Jack surprised. Given a Raven death drop. And the three count. Erica Draven and Tatsumaki get the win. After Poison Jack is surprised with a Raven death drop after trying to break up Tatsumaki's submission hold. Making a fatal error today of not keeping an eye on the queen of hardcore, Erica Draven. Never, never a good idea to turn your back. Here are your winners, the Prodigy and Eric D. Ray Venus. And Jack learned that the hard way today. Two members of tag teams in action in singles combat today. Anaconda Cox of the Orphans and Pierre St. Pierre of the French Connection. Going toe to toe. Going one on one. Pierre St. Pierre is of course probably going to be going for a submission move here. Uh, looking to make Anaconda Cox tap out. If memory serves, this would be the first time Anaconda Cox has ever tapped out. Uh, if that were to uh, be what takes place today. Anaconda, of course, going to be looking to brutalize the Frenchman. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 264 pounds. Charmer in there getting the crowd riled up and ready for this match. And his opponent from Paris, France, weighing in at 219 pounds, Pierre the Saint.
the bell. Anaconda Cox starting with a kick to the gut, taking the Frenchman to the ground, continuing to add damage. Taking the boots to Pierre St. Pierre. Pierre St. Pierre with a short arm tackle. Turning things around here on Anaconda Cox. Sends him to the ropes. Drop down. Leapfrog. And the drop kick to no avail. Deflected by Anaconda Cox. Anaconda Cox with a fallaway slam, brutalizing those ribs. Now kicking the face over and over, using the bottom of that heel, scraping it across the face of the Frenchman. And Pierre getting a little frustrated, it seems, with the match already. Oh, belly to belly suplex on the outside. That is an unforgiving ground out there, folks. Backbreaker. Four. Ref now at a count of four. We are looking at a power bomb into the apron. Oh, and slams him in a second time. We're at a count of seven now as Anaconda Cox rolls Pierre St. Pierre back in. after dealing a devastating blow uh, with that powerbomb into the apron. Beautiful Tree of Woe execution there. Let me just throw him down. Oh, here's St. Pierre. Look at her cattle mutilation already. What do you say? Nope, he's rolling back out. Rolls through. Not enough damage has been done to those limbs for a tap out yet. For that hammer lock from the front. To the ropes. Shoulder tackle. Neither man budging. Oh, drop kick to the back there. Scissor lock. Throwing those elbows at the face of Anaconda Cox. Another drop kick to the spine in the corner. And a backbreaker from Cox. Cox getting out. Does press into a beatdown. And the cover. Only one guy. Oh, disrespectful slap from Cox there. Looking to throw Pierre St. Pierre to the outside, following him out. Looking for some more brutality on the outside. Two. Oh, throws him over his shoulder, Pierre from St. Pierre reversing it into a DDT, again onto that unforgiving metal flooring. For the scoop, oh, and throws him right into the barrier face first. Looking for a Northern Light suplex there, reversed though by Cox. Cox on the count of seven, throwing St. Pierre back into the ring. Again, taking the boots to the Frenchman. Cox 
gut wrench slam from Anaconda Cox leaves Pierre St. Pierre reeling in the matter, matter of the ring. Oh, but is able to comprise himself enough to get a corkscrew takedown there. Looking to wrench and pull on it as much as possible. He went for cattle mutilation earlier. Did not have uh, what it took to put away Anaconda Cox that early in the match. Uh, looking to do that damage now. Spike Herker on a right into the mat. Big pop-up slam into the armbar. Trying to get it locked in. Anaconda Cox continuing to struggle. Eventually gets his arm freed. <gasps> Pierre St. Pierre looking for cattle mutilation one more time. Getting it locked in has done a tremendous amount of damage to those arms. Let's see if this has been enough. No! Anaconda Cox fighting his way out. St. Pierre continuing to do damage to those limbs. Not quite enough this time. Rolling. Rolling Death Valley Bomb. Enough to put away. Here, St. Pierre, before he is able to tap out. The Snake Charmer. Titanic Tom uh, off uh, working with Jaden Drake these days, uh, working towards that that title uh, against the uh, the new the, the the Twin Moon connection of Juice Door from TV uh, relegated to the singles uh, tier. Uh, Anaconda is. We are joined now by Andy Ventura. Hello, hello, hello. Joining us here in the booth. Uh, as we go into our third match of the day between Victoria Valkyrie and Jenna Jordan. Jenna Jordan, a relatively young upstart, has not been with the company particularly long. Uh, found her way into uh, the main roster after being in developmental for a while. Uh, now making a name for herself, going after the biggest and baddest names that she can. Yes, she has. An upstart is very good has been involved in a little controversy every now and again. She has, she has. Uh, interrupting matches mm -hmm. uh, lately, especially between um, Making her way to Katsumaki, the uh, trying, to, trying to make a name sort of against uh, Poison Jack at first. Yes. Uh, but it, while doing so, upsetting Poison uh, Katsumaki in the process because uh, those were the matches that were getting 
you know, disqualif yeah. disqualified. Yeah. Like Jenna, this is gonna be a deep school. What are you doing? What are you doing? Unless you want it to be. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. The other pillar of Valhalla, of course, uh, scheduled for a match later today. Yes. We, we will have both, but not at the same time. And her opponent. There is the short. From Green Bay, Wisconsin, Jen Jordan. Another person who always looks very happy to be here, ready to go, ready for a match. See what happens. Oh, my. Valkyrie not intimidated in the least by Jenna Jordan. And Victoria almost in a bring on the shenanigans. Locked right up in that corner straight away. Ref bravely getting right between the two of them. Clean break, but then a kick to the gut and a hurt Karana from Valkyrie. And that is the sound of what? Sapphire making her way to the ring. Come in here. Oh, oh! And big top trouble right to the head of Victoria Valkyrie. The first thing, first thing out of out of the bag. Big top trouble. What is happening? <laughs> trying to get her up now, just just trading blows. Referee trying to get her out of there. This match has been uh disqualified immediately. Oh, uh, yeah. The win, of course, going uh to Victoria Valkyrie here. Yes. Uh Jenna Jordan has been messing with uh, with matches of of the uh, of the high flyer, yes. uh, the world traveler, yep. uh, because she has that number one contender mm -hmm. uh, ability, but can't uh, has that spot, but can't take the belt because yes. of course they're from the same, same nation, country, yes. uh, unable to compete against. Uh, so. But Sapphire seems, just seems, pummeling seems, Valkyrie. Seems Sapphire out here just deciding uh, she was going to make sure that uh, that Valkyrie got the win, uh, that that win did not go to Jenna. It's a very painful way to get the win. I, I have to say. But it's but continuing. Val it did like, look like Valkyrie was probably going to take that match. Valkyrie came out strong. And Victoria Valkyrie, of course, the winner of this match after being attacked uh, by disqualification. Uh... Wow. And then it seems that uh, seems that Sapphire just got a little bloodlust there and continued to, to go after Valkyrie after she had uh, done done the damage of, of taking the, the win away from, from Jenna there. I, I think I, there, there was a lot of message sending there. Sapphire is definitely in send mode. I, I wonder if Jenna received the message. Because I know I did. I don't think anybody in that arena didn't receive <laughs> the message that Sapphire was trying to send there. Whew. Sunshine Cassidy and Chainsaw have our fourth match of the day before we go into our first break, our first and only break, just the one. Less than five minute break. Patented. Patented. <laughs> Less than five minute break. It's patented. 
Don't try it at home. Mr. Briefcase Full of Guts himself mm. uh, going up against Sunshine Cassidy, a man who has been showing uh, great promise, yes. uh, but has, uh, has a bit of an ego uh, on those shoulders we've seen as of late. Uh, with the way he's been treating the referees at the end yes. of matches, uh, during matches, and so on and so forth. Getting a little, uh, <clears throat> he is uh, blowing, blowing sunshine up his own butt at this point. I'm not sure if it's going to pay off. Perhaps uh, the man from uh, the wilderness of Canada will be able to uh, take that ego and take it down a notch today. We'll see. Making his way to the ring. Some northern winds on from this. Jersey City, New Jersey. Weighing in at 185 pounds, Sunshine Sure it was explained to him at some point, especially when they actually had the match uh, to to gain it. Mm -hmm. um, did he comprehend? I don't know. Do not know. And that's what? Wait a second. The Wendigo himself. Speaking of northern winds, coming out. Ooh. What? Staring down Cassidy. Well, there is. No love lost between Joseph and Sunshine Cassidy. None Not at all. all. No, no. He's uh, coming out, having a having a seat ringside. It would appear. And, oh, oh my! Taunting. I'm sure if someone runs down there and asks him what he's doing, oh God, I'm just supporting my fellow North person up there. Huh? And the bell. There they go. Cassidy coming out on fire. Bringing Chainsaw to the corner. Referee breaking things up. Hands right up in Chainsaw's face. So we've got this. I was going to say, it's starting out to look painful for Chainsaw, but Chainsaw has recovered from so many things. I'm still not sure who understands how pain works, so. Take down for Cassidy. <laughs> Big hits from Chainsaw coming back. Into an overhead hammer lock there. Yeah. Unable to lock it in, though. A hammer lock of his own behind the head. Another! Another. One. They're reversal after reversal here. Ladies and gentlemen, they are dancing at this point. And it is a Arm hell of a takedown dance. into the ropes. Ooh. Chainsaw rolling through. Cassidy sends him to the ropes. Back elbow. Right into the face. Picks up Chainsaw again. This time over the shoulders. Chainsaw wriggles through. Irish death Ooh. drop. 
very nice turnaround there from Chainsaw. Cassidy out to the middle of the ring and just stomping on stomp it. Stomp to the face. Just a, just a chainsaw stomp. No respect for the money man. Big is a knee right there on the back of his neck. Chainsaw to the ropes, cut, kick to the gut. Double foot chest stomp. Ooh. And as he gets goes going for the cover. And goes for the cover. A single count there. Brutal chop sends Chainsaw back on his back. I would, I would say Ch Chainsaw is having a little bit of a rough day today. The corner, big forearm from Cassidy there. Cassidy only seemed to be more riled up than usual thanks to Yosef being out there. Uh, doesn't seem to be uh, doing doing the mind game uh, yep. that he was hoping for. Right there. It's actually uh, making uh, Cassidy more aggressive, it would seem, I, than I, usual. I, Exactly. I was going to say, it seems there's a lot of casting going, oh, Yosef, so you want to watch? Watch this. Cassie sending the wild man into the ropes. Oh. Yosef's wait. standing up. And Cassie's taking notice, and getting out there, looking to have a, a bit of conversation, it would appear. Yeah. Some words being exchanged. Oh. Oh, no. Chainsaw taking advantage of the distraction, though. Laying out. Cassidy on the outside. Yosef, whose uh, job seems to be it. done here, heading on back. Looking for... Oh, oh! Hangs him up by the guts. Kick into the head there. Three. Just stays out there. Out there on that cold, cold concrete. Oh, and another reversal into an Irish death drop. Referee at a count of four. Chainsaw comes back inside. Six. Cassidy back in the ring as well. Looks like he's recovered a little bit. Swing and neck breaker there. Big kick to the back of the head. Big. Big arm into Chainsaw. Cassidy still having that moment with the crowd, but I think Cassidy will... Pissed off. Well, I can say it right now. I think our ray of sunshine is Seeing pissed again, off. Going for that cover. Disrespectful cover. No leg hook. Single, a, uh, single count there. Just a one. Hanging up. Chainsaw Ooh. on the ropes. Goes for a rolling senton. Misjudges there. Hits the heels. He's making up for it with a lot of solid. Just, just stomping. Another Stop. disrespectful slap. Chainsaw goes for a big old punch. Gets caught up into a front face lock. Comes out firing again. Another oh, couple of see. strikes. That last one didn't quite seem to win, but that shit matters. Throws Cassidy out of the ring. <laughs> Did Chainsaw just land on him as he stepped it out? He stepped out of the ring onto Cassidy. And why not? Why wouldn't you? Roll through and a... Oh! Ooh. Nice recovery leg work there by Chainsaw. Making Cassidy just eat some of that iron ring. Just right into the barrier. Cassidy now broken open. Busted open the hard way on that railing. Oh God. We got red. We got red. Super ah. kick to the face mm. as uh, mm. Cassidy is rolled up into a, into a ball. Oh, but he hits the lariat. That could be it. Damn, that might actually be it. That is it. That leg lariat, all that damage done to Cassidy still prevails. Gets a leg lariat out of nowhere. Puts the wild man down for the three count. Put him down hard.
Wildman just could not get off a Canadian Destroyer or a last shot before that leg Larry came out of nowhere, taking him down. Well, in every in every every mind game, in every yeah, even, everything they did to Cassidy just made him come back harder. Yeah, I think all they did was was make make the man angrier, mm -hmm. uh, which apparently, much like the Hulk, uh, just makes him stronger. Yeah, don't make him angry. Also, don't you know, don't don't bust open. And not a happy. With he's a winner. That he's not a happy man. We are going into our patented less than five minute break. We will be right back with some uh, some competition inside of our World Traveler division. Tanya Whitecliffe taking off the Frost Queen of Zana. When we come back, we'll be back shortly. Don't go anywhere. You're not gonna want to miss it.
Avzada has jumped in from the crowd, attacking Daria what? Whitecliff before the match. Ref trying to regain some control of the ring, but Avzada stepping back. And the bell. Avzada stepping back from Evan Moe, like, hey, what did I do? Big moves there. Mm. Knee lift, the inverted DDT. Tony Whitecliff fighting out though. Short arm lariat there from the Barbarian Queen. Tony using ropes to pull herself up, trying to recover. And clothesline right over the top. Right out onto the floor. Huge punches. Donna just comes coming in with just giant, brutal moves. Three. Not sure if it's because she's trying to make this a quick match or is. <clears throat> Donna taking too much time deciding which uh -huh. barrier or stair she's gonna dump Tanya onto. Tanya fights out, pulls her right, right back, back out. out. What is going on? Donna says, "I am not done with you." From the from the premature attack to the what on earth, or, or whichever realm, considering. Back in the ring and back into being a match. Trying as she might, uh, though Avzana is intent on making this a beatdown. Nope, Rick. Nope. Get out of the way. Uh oh. Big drop kick off the ropes. Oh, and with the tilt a whirl slam, goes for the cover. Will it be enough to put away Avzana, though? No, no. barely a two count there. It was a good solid takedown though. Tanya looking for that butterfly. Face buster. Avzana ready for it though. Oh, Ooh, nobody, nobody home. For either one of these competitors, apparently. Spine buster from Avzana. Mm. Will she go for the cover? Or Nope, more, more Look, damage. Looking for a big swing here. Ooh, this is going to be painful. Looking to disorient Tanya here. Ain't and then into the cover. And the three it. count. That's the win there. Did plenty of damage there with the spine buster and then made sure that she was too dizzy to try and get up. That was beautifully executed, though. Yeah, the spine buster, I think, could have finished the match there. She just wanted to add an insult to injury with the big swing. Well, not to mention whatever that was before the bell, actually. Yeah, these, these two have not had, had pleasant words with each other for the last month winner. or so. This is, this is escalating now. Ah. Alzana is showing you a little bit of an in interesting change in demeanor herself. Our next to last match today, uh, Junk versus Rex, uh, two men who were in the uh, the elimination match, mm -hmm. uh, came down to Rex and Iron Jaw. Yes. Uh, Iron Jaw, of course, uh, getting the the big win after he and Rex just had a knockdown, dragout, barn burner uh, after everyone else was eliminated uh, in that match. Rex came out last week, said that he was intending to uh, to fight Iron Jaw again. Yes. Right. Um, but Iron Jaw has his sights set, of course, on the championship yes. uh, that is held by Honey Badger right now. Um, Rex said that nothing personal. You are my good friend. We've been mm -hmm. through a lot together. 
but I'm gonna have to take that belt from you if I want to mm -hmm. take on Iron Jaw at Wrestle War. So right now he's got his set sight, his sights set on Honey Badger. Yes. Uh, today though he is going to be taking on Junk, uh, one of the men from that big elimination match, seeing what he can do uh, against Rex one on one without the distraction of everyone else. It was in almost that match. as if they had to get rid of everyone else. Making his way to the ring. Junk wanna junk wants that opportunity. Up to weighing in at 439 pounds. Junkyard. Awfully spry for a minute That is a whole lot of just, uh, just a lot of energy there. Person moving that fast is slightly terrifying. Again, uh, Rex, not one to uh, to get pinned or tapped out no. uh, in the match with Iron Jaw, could not be pinned, could not be submitted. No. Iron Jaw literally had to wring the consciousness out of him yes, uh, to get the win. Uh, Rex went limp mm -hmm. before he would be pinned or tap out. Brainworms here. Oh, big Larry to the back of the head. And stomping on that name, but, mm, and then right that in the back of the hamstring. Dropping him on his knee. So it's just Minotaur is trying to ensure that Rex will not be able to get up even if he kicks out of anything. Ah. Feel that, feel that pulling up in the shoulder muscles all the way up here. John, of course, uh, using this opportunity to try and get as much damage done mm -hmm. uh, to Rex as possible. That if, in the case of him actually being able to face Iron Jaw, is in no condition yeah. uh, to get a win. Oh, pummeling, pummeling. Amazing, Rex has not caught a break through this match yet. Has not. Oh, going going in. I'm just bring out the muscles right up there. <clears throat> Space for himself, tried to get a kick. All he did was just give the Minotaur his leg and got kicked himself. Corkscrew takedown. This be enough for him to get back into things. He Rex hasn't even it. started to wrestle here yet. No, he's taken a lot of damage. However, short arm gut kicks into a short arm lariat, and that's the noise. What? Honey Badger is here. I was gonna say taking damage is a thing that Rex does. The amount that he can sustain. Honey Badger out here, maybe taking some umbrage. Uh, with with Rex's words against him. Oh, and a roll up! Surprise oh, no. roll up from Jock. Kicks out at one though. John taking full advantage of the distraction. Beautiful 
beautiful lariat there from the Rexes from Texas. Going up top. Going for that elbow to the back. And the cover. Only a one count. DDT and an elbow drop. This is the emperor, the emperor there to interdict or to support. This is there's been a lot of interesting ringside visitors today. Nobody home there and a back body drop from Rex. Rex, big man, lots of old school mm -hmm. wrestling techniques. Single hold Ooh. into the lasso from El Paso. Amazing. The one, the only, only a two count. Barely even a two count. Barely. Absolutely worth it to see him pick the Minotaur up and slam him down. It yeah. takes a lot to put away one of the monsters among men. And with them being the only two men in the ring, it's going to be a much bigger fight for Rex. And he thought, yes. already delivering one lasso from El Paso, not enough to put away junk, though. Rex, over the top rope. Big kick through the ropes. There hasn't been several other fighters in there softening him up first. Creating a lot more work for Rex. Side slam. Measure slamming Rex's head into the ring, taking some moments, and there's the cover. Only a two count there. Had he capitalized on that instead of riling up the crowd, could have potentially gotten the three count there. I think so. Rex, unable to get away from the Minotaur, decides instead to just drop kick the leg out from under him. For another flying elbow to the back. And Man. lands it. Now he's taking a moment. Big right hand to the face Ooh. of Rex. Man from Texas reeling from those strikes. Going for the Minotaur press. Bam! There it is. And, and the cover. The cover. Would this be it? And the it three count. Junk gets the win over Rex. Rex obviously despondent having Honey Badger on the sidelines there. Comes out with the distraction, sticks around for the match. Very. Very, very odd. Well fought match to both our fighters. And congratulations to John. John with the win on that Minotaur press. Here is your winner, Junkyard. What is happening? Well, after the words that uh, that were were spouted from Rex last week, it seems that uh, Honey Badger happy to put any obstacle between himself and his best friend right now. Yeah. Uh, out there in support of the Minotaur. Quite a turn of events here uh, this week, <laughs> and uh, and we have ourselves a loading screen. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> All right, what's up, Jay Uso? <laughs> hey, Jay. 
<laughs> what a game 2K19 is, truly. Uh, I hope that it has not forgotten what the main event is, or else uh, that may have been our main event. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, oh! Uh -oh! Good lord, and that's why. <laughs> that uh, backstage, there is a beatdown going on. Uh, well, that, that makes sense. because These four men uh, were supposed to have a match today. I was going to say, that was, our main, <laughs> that was our main event. All right, They're so... Still they're pre-gaming. Yeah, a little bit of a little, little bit, bit of a pre-game pre beatdown there uh, from Titanic Tom and uh, and Jaden Drake uh, going after Juice, going after the Mjolnir yeah. champion himself, uh, broken up there by Usador, coming out threatening with with some magic. Magic there. gets the two to back off. Uh, we will see uh, if if that has any bearing on how this match turns out now. There seems to have been a lot of pregame fights today. A lot of, uh, getting in there early. Where's Usador? Juice? Usador coming to the ring by himself. Usador, uh, it seems that Juice has been, uh, has been injured by these two backstage. Not able to, to go into no. the fight. Usador happy to face both of them on his own, though. Drake, Drake and Titanic Tom taunting the Blue Wizard. Blue Wizard not caring, unfazed. We have ourselves a handicap match Ooh. here today, folks. Yeah. That is de definitely something I did not see. Yeah. Happy to teach his former partner a lesson of 12. Take down there. But Jane Drake fighting his way out of the bear hug. Doing a stiff forearm to the face. He used more. Ooh, beautiful standing Spanish fly. Down, rolling him up. Taking those legs, stretching him out. Put him in directions they are not supposed to go. Mm. Oh, coming back with a nice solid punch in the face. Bullseye okay. in the corner. Mm. Big close line. So, come here. Come here, baby dragon. And toss you around. And a pile driver. Will he go for the pin? Or will he... Oh, no, no, he is... No! He is only starting to get fired up. Continuing to battle against also, the English dragon. Did you see her just stair step in the corner? There's that moment. Putting all of his weight under the chin of Jaden here. And clotheslining him, sending him all the way to the outside. Right out of the room, following him out. Big chops to the chest here. These doors are like, I don't care where I hurt you, I'm just gonna hurt you. Kick to the gut on the outside. Backbreaker, Backbreaker. from Drake. Mm. There's a blue wizard up top looking to hang him on the apron. 
feeding him the apron. The back baker feeding the apron. Let's see what how much that turns us around. Back in the ring at a count of seven. Jin Drake looking for Ooh. the dragon DDT and, and the cover. The cover. This, this could One, be it. two, only oh, a two count. so close. Unfortunately for the Blue Wizard, there is a fresh man on the outside who is ready to start a beatdown. As Usador, so close to taking a three count there. Mm -hmm. This could be it for the Blue Wizard. Getting Titanic Tom in there. I mean, it's, it, it, it's insane that he's fighting both of them anyway. The fact that he is still in there. Usador, though, fired up. He's got a fresh opponent. He's all excited. <laughs> I just, what even is happening? Oh, wrenching that arm. Like you, can't, you can't pin me if you can't use your parts. Big clothesline. Two big clotheslines. And, and, and a third. Triple. Now Jane Drake hey. tagging himself in. Titanic Tom no longer the legal man. Oh, cut off by Drake. As Titanic Tom stops the Irish whip there. Unfortunately, I think all Drake has done is made him The big shoulder tackles, or elbow tackles, rather. Oh, but oh nobody, nobody home. home. And Drake with a big kick to the head from the outside. Back in. Very cleverly done by Drake. Will it be enough? Wizard does seem to be reeling a little. Super kick. Oh, that could have done Puts the blue it. wizard on the ground. The one, the two, and, and the, the three, three count. Jaden Drake, Titanic Tom getting the win over Usador, who had to go out there on his own after Juice was injured by the two backstage. Uh, who knows what all injury could have come yes. uh, to Juice had Usador not stepped in uh, when he did. An incredibly, I, I don't know if interesting is the right word for the tournament. Here are your course. winners, the Dragon, Jaden, Trey, and the Strong oh, the What the hell is going on? These guys are loving being tag team partners from everything I can see so far. I don't know if I'm loving their behavior that's coming out of it, but they absolutely are loving each other. They seem to be. They absolutely seem to be. And considering how many tag teams we've seen had falling outs and love lost, I, I'm happy to see a team that likes being together, but I mean, damn, what are they doing? You're not wrong, you're not wrong. It is nice to see tag teams sticking together. Uh, but it, you hate to see uh, tag teams falling apart in the wake of it, though. Yes. Uh, it, it seems that Might and Magic definitely put on the back burner here uh, after this uh, this turn of events. Oh, yeah. Folks, that has been Power Slam today. Thank you very much for coming out, supporting the stream. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, give us a follow here if you haven't already. Head over and over to our YouTube. Give us a like, subscribe. Uh, until tomorrow, uh, my name is Eric Powers. And I'm Andy Ventura. And until then, stay, stay powerful. powerful.